We have girls hockey action coming up later in the show, but how about the boys? Well, tonight we have a matchup of two of the area's best. Waukesha, currently ranked number 10 in the state, taking on Classic 8 rival Brookfield Catholic Memorial. The two goalies played a key role in this one early and often, and they were more than up to the task. Here's Brookfield with a two-on-one, but Patrick McKnight is stoned by Jake Kupski. Going the other way, Nick Lagaki with a rebound chance for the Wings, but he is stopped by J.J. Murnane. We're scoreless after one. Now in the second, the Stars' Riley Keyes with a breakaway opportunity, but Kupski comes up huge again with two big saves. Then it's Waukesha Zed Dietrich splitting the defense, but his shot is knocked away. No score after two. On to the third, under a minute to play. Wings on the attack. Cole Venus with the shot. Dietrich gets a stick on it. The rebound is loose, and Logan Giesness, right place, right time for the game's only goal. Waukesha moves to 12 and 3 with a hard fought win. We knew that we were going to try to win it back to the point and just generate shots on net. That's exactly what we did. Got a shot from Cole, Zed tipped it. Goalie didn't know where it was. It was right on the goal line, so I was just there to put it home. Sweetest pineapple. They're very solid defensively, well coached, good goaltending, so we figured it'd be something along these lines, so we're, we're fortunate to get out of here with a close win. Greendale and Tosa West meeting for the second time in 10 days. Back on January 14th, Greendale beat West 81-69, thanks in large part to 32 points from their senior, Jordan Perez. Friday night, the Panthers going for the season sweep over the Trojans. Tosa West alternating wins and losses over their last six games, and if the trend stayed true, they would beat Greendale. And it certainly looked like that would be the case. Zach Bite helps West to a 10-zip start. Then second quarter, Reggie Kaysen from downtown, 36-23 Trojans at half. They led by 17 in the third, and here in the fourth, Andre Carroll in transition with a nice finish, 47-34 West with under seven to go. But that's when Jordan Perez started heating up. There's a triple from up top. Then next trip, another three and the foul. A four point play for Perez cuts the lead to just two. Four to go now, Perez driving and he can't be stopped. 16 points in the fourth, 29 in the game. Greendale leads 53-52. Under two to go, West reeling until Stephen Brown steps up. Big three, 57-56 West and they would not relinquish the lead. Tosa West hangs on for the 61-56 win. They're eight and three in the Woodland West. We got tired at them. We got fatigued and that's how they came back. And a great player will do that. And that's what Jordan did, uh, but we were able to hold on in the end. We're extremely proud of how they came back and how they um, battled after a tough loss last Saturday. And um, the message was it's gotta be all four quarters. Um, and I was proud of the way they got it at the end.